Hi, I'm so glad you're here and I am excited to be talking about the Magi who came to see Jesus after Jesus was born. They actually came a couple years after. So they had the most miraculous Christmas celebration. They came, their purpose of coming was to worship Jesus. My name is Judith Coles and I'm from His Unmeasured Grace and I am talking about the Magi and we're going to get into it now. In Matthew chapter 2 um, verses 3 through 12. I'm not going to read them all with you right now um, but you can refer back to them but that's where this story comes from. You know we think about the Magi as being these like really fun characters that come to visit Jesus. And we think of them as like being Christians and believers and um, being these kings. We sing the song, We Three Kings, We Three Kings of Orient Are. And we've sung that since many of us, since we were little children. But did you know that these guys were astrologers and the kind of people that the Bible warns against and that that this is something that's an abomination to God the Bible talks against what it is is that it's really shocking or is it because the Magi are are sinners and the thing that's shocking about that is that we kind of get in our little groove as what we think is appropriate as a Christian instead of realizing that God is wooing people that are sinners to him and you are a sinner and so am I and he has called us to him even though we are imperfect moms and total failures most of the time and this is where the magic come in magi is where we get the word magic from and they were dabbling in things that were evil and just things that they shouldn't be doing, that we shouldn't be doing, and yet they wanted to worship Jesus. And so no one, no one that you know of that is, is too far away from, from the Lord being able to call him to him. No one has done anything that's too great for him when they respond to Jesus that they can't be brought to Jesus. And they wanted to worship Jesus and to leave all that behind. And that's just what a thought I want to leave you with today. They were experts in astrology and somehow they figured out that someone important had been born in Judea. And they wanted to go there and worship him. And so it says in Matthew 2, verse 2, it says they came to worship him. The hope that the Magi gives to me is that as somebody who's not one of the chosen people that God chose, he chose the Israelites to be a special people. And then I'm not a Jewish person. I'm a Gentile. And yet God wants to call me and you, no matter who we are, he has opened it up to be anybody who accepts him as their personal savior and comes to him. So here come the sinners. That's what happens when the Magi come to worship Jesus. They are like uncouth pagan men, and yet Jesus welcomes them. And yes, they have to change and turn from their ways, and that is what the wonder of it all is. The biblical view of magic is this. In Daniel 2, verse 2, it says, Then the king commanded that the magicians, the enchanters, the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans be summoned to tell the king his dreams. So they came in and stood before the king. So that's one verse. In Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 14, it says, 
When you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who burns his sons or daughter as an offering, etc. And that's from um, Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 14. You can look that up if you um, wonder about that. So, when they had gone through the whole island as far as Paphos, they came upon a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar Jesus. He was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, a man of intelligence, who summoned Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. That's from Acts 13, verses 6 through 12. Jesus came to earth to die for our sins. And he came to die for the Gentile sinners too. And the magicians show us how Jesus as a baby was the one that these magicians chose to come and worship. And that's the unique thing about the story. So as you go about your week, stop and read these verses in Matthew chapter 2 um, verses 3 through 12 and see how it speaks to you and I don't know where you're at but if you are a mom in perfection just like me and Jesus cares about you and he died for you and he can help you to live with his Holy Spirit in and through you this Christmas season so slow down and take the time to get into God's Word and see how God speaks to you this Christmas season and focus on Jesus and don't just um, because it's not just about the tinsel and the bright charm and um, parties and gifts it, it's more beyond that it's that Jesus was the most special gift in the world that he gave to you and me so thanks for joining me and see you next time. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to grow my channel and so I can reach more people. So thanks a lot. Bye.